Hello, today we are going to be creating this wheat field at sunset. We are going to be using a Sprite software, a 200 by 200 pixel canvas, and this palette I've created. The link to the palette is in the description. Let's get started. We're going to go up to new file. We're going to create a 200 by 200 pixel canvas here. We're going to load in our palette. Okay. And we're going to just name this first layer background one. And we're going to select these two mid-tone colors here. And we're going to go to our gradient tool and make sure we're selected on radial gradient with the buyer matrix eight by eight. And we want to make sure that the brighter color is the middle of the gradient here. Okay, that's good for the start of that. We're going to make a new layer. We'll just call this background two. And we'll go a little bit brighter here. Come in a little, little less wide than we did before. Okay. So now we need to get rid of this darker color here. So we'll select that color, come up and go to select color range. That will select all of that color on our canvas here and we can delete that. And we'll just continue that process through a few more background layers. Background three. Select the color. Delete it out. Shift N for a new layer, Shift P to go to layer properties, background four. And then this one will just be a little bit smaller here. Perfect. So we'll select this color and delete that one out. Now we can use the, the V key here to kind of center our layers. To make sure everything is kind of a uh, gradual color change from the mid middle of this radial gradient. Okay. Now we're going to flatten these. So we're just going to merge all these layers down into one. Create one new layer. This is going to be the setting sun. And we're going to do shift M for our elliptical selection tool. And if you hold down shift, it will lock it to a perfect circle. And right in the middle there, maybe a little bigger than that. We're gonna select our brightest color, do F to fill. And then we can just move it around a little bit to center it perfectly. Okay, so we've got our sun with the glow kind of emanating from it here. All right, the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to end up messing up these layers a little bit. And to do that, we're going to use 
this jumble tool. We're gonna select a brush about four pixels here. And we're just gonna kinda make some angled strokes in from the edge of the canvas here. At the bottom, we can make some little curved strokes to kind of indicate that maybe there are some, some clouds, some wispy clouds happening. Or maybe just a lot of dust in the air from the harvest. Call this one our mid-ground hills. Go back to a single brush here. We're just gonna create some rolling hills. And we'll fill that in. Whoops. Make sure that continuous is selected. We can try and add a little bit of lighting to these hills, but we don't want too much. So we'll make a two by two pattern with this mid ground hill color and the one, one value brighter. And we'll do control B to create a brush from that. And then we will control click our layer to select that layer. And we'll just kind of draw in some sun hitting the hills here. up foreground layer. We'll just name it foreground here and we're going to use our darkest value. Get rid of our patterned brush here and we're just going to start by creating some close-up stalks here. This way and that. Okay, that's a good start. Then we're going to just create a head of wheat here. something like that and then to indicate some light maybe filtering through the between the individual kernels here we're just going to kind of break up the outside Let's 
since this one is probably the closest to our view we can increase the top of the stock size here a little bit and then we can add some little leafy areas here wheat stalks have these like dry bits of leaf that kind of fold over at sharp angles. And we'll just continue on doing that for some of the rest of our stalks of wheat here. We can even reuse some of our already used stocks of wheat by cutting and pasting, maybe doing some resizing, rotate a little bit, we'll paste again, this one here, we'll rotate this way. again rotate this other way maybe make it a little shorter and again okay we'll continue to add some of the leaves on here You can just continue to fill up this area as much as you want. done here. Let's cut to the final piece. Thank you for watching.